Hello and welcome to this normal mapping tutorial. Today we're going to see how to create a diamond grid pattern. So let's start off with creating a new file at the size of 400 pixels in width and 450 pixels in height. Then we're going to take our rectangular shape tool and create a new uh, square at 100 pixels height and width. We're going to center this in our canvas and rotate it 45 degrees. You will now notice that the square is 141 pixels in size. We are now going to rescale this again to get exactly 100 pixels. Now we're going to increase the height so we get a nice decent diamond shape. After this is done, we're going to open Endo 2 and convert the shape into a normal. After this is done, we're going to change the shape to chiseled shadow. Then increase the size to around 26, 27. You will notice some strange lines fall across your shape. Therefore, we're going to alter some settings so that the stripes are fairly visible. We're going to change the depth to 600 and the contrast to 66. We slightly lower the fall off to 20 and at one point softness. So now the edges are all smooth. We can of course enable anti-aliasing so the edges are even smoother but I prefer to disable it for this uh, shape. You can even tweak the curves to make the inner edge a bit softer but I also prefer to, to keep it a bit sharper. So for our first result it's quite uh, good and now we're going to see if we can tweak a bit uh, more with the settings but uh, I don't think it's really required. You can play with the settings a bit more to get your desired result. But uh, I, I like these settings. So for that the shape is done and we're going to uh, convert it to a small object so we can play it a bit easier and copy it. So we're going to see if it tiles correctly. Uh, so we're going to copy it a couple of times. There we go. And uh, well, let's see how uh, it tiles. And for first look, it looks quite good. So uh, let's name it down. and yeah, it's uh, it's, it's silent seamlessly, so that's perfect. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, convert this uh, this normal into the desired maps that we can use. So let's convert it to an AO and a cavity map. Make sure you enable is tileable and then just press the active dock. Wait until Ender Two finishes this process and then you will get your maps. So we've got our cavity map, we're going to drag it to our uh, ambient occlusion and uh, merge the group. Make sure to crop it because if you're enabled tiling you will get some extra uh, padding. So now we can apply both these maps onto a simple polymer base, select them ambient occlusion and put, we put this on multiply. You will see it's way too dark so we're going to change the opacity and the fill a bit to your desired uh, settings. Then we've got our cavity and we're going to blur this twice to remove some too hard edges or too black edges. Then we can change the overlay type on what you really desire. Then you can resize it and uh, see what fits your grip or whatever you want to use this pattern for. I'm now just styling it so uh, we'll get a better picture from uh, how it would look in the square box. And there you have it. It looks pretty decent but it can use a lot of uh, tweaks and edits to make it really beliefs worthy of a grid pattern. So here we have our normal map and well it was pretty easy to create and you can almost use it for anything. So I hope you liked this tutorial and learned a bit from it.